celebrating 65 years of great road racing with all the top drivers, the dramatic series, and challenging events. Watkins Glen International plays host to round six of the Continental Tire Sports Car Challenge for 2013. Welcome to the Continental Tire 150. The green flag waves, we're underway at Watkins Glen. Two Multimatic Astons leading the field to green. Jay Buford, fourth pole of the year. He is on fire and leads the pack down into turn one, Doss. This is a great overtaking area, and you see three wide as we get in here. They're going to have to get it single file, though, before they head up the S's. You can go side by side, but it costs you a lot of time from this point up the hill. Shelby Blackstock had a look around the outside there in that bright red number 51, Roush Mustang. That boy's doing a tremendous job this year. Here comes the street tuner's start. Corey Fuga, Fergus, screen left on the pole. Brand new race car this weekend. Switched to the newest Civic 2.4 liter. Got a little more oomph, which is needed here at Watkins Glen. And only five wide back in the middle. That's about normal <laughs> for here, though. There's a whole bunch of photographers just behind the tire wall down there in turn one because they know what can happen down there. You just got to play nice through this area, threading the needle. Tires aren't up to temperature yet, but great start by Fergus. Look at the gunslinger, slides it to the inside. They're the defending champions. Number 93 car from Hart. Dorsey talked about them. He's there in third in that mean black machine. No, no problems problem for trouble. Her. The Rumbum team now did it break the windshield. That's the really important thing here. The hood up over the top, you can't see. He'll get back to pit lane, make a pit stop. But if it broke the windscreen, they have to replace that. They're in big trouble. Knock the fuel switch off. Let's take a look at here, see if Nick Longy gets in the back of the Stevenson car. Yes, he does, oh, yeah, right there. Shuffled right under him. I thought there was damage on that when I saw it. Back underway at Watkins Glen. Nick Mancuso and Eric Curran up front. Look at this, James Guay looking down to the inside. He's having a great return to racing here, returning. And Shelby Blackstock, Blackstock around, around, the around the outside in the red Mustang. Wow. What a move. That was a real big outside pass in turn one. Well, he tried it on the initial start doors. He couldn't get the grip. This time he finds the grip and takes it to the front. It's a drag race, Sellers moving by. Nice clean run there, just got the inside, got the power down, has the track position. Now on the brakes, a little bit of squirm. There's a pronounced dip right at the apex of that yeah. corner. Real that bowl messes there. messes you up too, yeah. Back to the ST leader, Ryan Eversley, the 75. Things much, much calmer looking back here. Well, he's got <laughs> about a 3.8 second lead over his nearest rival. Yeah, this is going to be a great battle. This track is really drying out now. So, you know, we heard Eric Curran say we gambled on a dry racetrack. There'll be several of these teams who have gone one way or the other with their setup. Oh, oh, a little help there, I believe. Oh, that was a good maneuver there. These guys getting passed on the outside. Look at Klein been coming. He's nearly caught these two leaders. So they were looking at Eversley, McAleer, and here comes Klein in the 31. Oh, really deep. He's not wasting any time. Wow. No, they knew he was coming too. They were talking about it before that Pierre would be got to reckon with multi-national, oh. multi-champion. He is hooked up, Dorsey. That yeah. little Mazda is hooked up right now. He's flying. There's been a change of lead, Bob. Here we go, going up through the S's. Oh, that's a really risky place to do a deal like this. But Klein Ubing in the 31. We got a full course caution now, which you had to know was coming because there's cars off everywhere. It's hard to believe how slow you have to go to keep on the racetrack when you're on slick tires in these conditions, yeah. Dorsey. So you just wow. think you're at a crawl and the car will still go straight. Oh, we've my, got the 61. My... That's Billy Johnson. It's the two uh, Roush cars got together, it looks like, and Johnson is upside down. Joey Atterbury. That another one's going to hit it. Oh, no. There's why you don't Goodness. unbuckle. I mean, you're sitting in that car upside down, you want out. You don't want to get out and buckled right there. Look, there's going to be more. I mean, they got to oh, get the, another one upside down. This is turn six. Downhill off of the old turn five, going down that left-hander. It's, it's downhill, and that, that exaggerates the problem there. You see the caution light flashing. The Rum Bum team looking for their third victory of the year. Nobody else has more than one. Green flag. There's Nick Longy watching his teammate. And here we go. Look at Sellers. He has got a run on Matt Plum for the lead of this race. I hope He's got him. I hope they didn't call it a jump start. It was, he timed it really good. Plum side by side. Back. He's trying to come back. Where's the grip going to be? The outside, the inside. No. Sellers on the power early. Up through the S's on what may be the final lap of the race. Can we stay green? I mean, this whole lap. Remember, these guys are on slick tires when it gets to the really wet parts of the racetrack. Here comes Edwards. 
boys are earning their money right now. We're hearing this is the final lap of the race. And it's also the slipperiest part of the racetrack. Uh -oh. We're going slick right down tires, the hill. Slick tires. Remember what happened before down in this area. This could be an all-skate. Look at that. Looking for grip around the outside. That might be Kazimitz in one of those Astons. It was, yeah, with Edwards. Checkered flag waves, and Brian Sellers and Mark Bowden will take the GS and overall victory here at the Continental Tire 150. There's Stephen McAleer. No sign of Ryan Eversley. Oh, something must have gone on there. He gets an easy win. There's Eversley. Yep. He crossed the line in second. That's big points for him who came in leading this championship. McAleer gets his second win of the year. The fall line crew celebrating a maiden win for the 46. After an amazing wet, dry race, here are the Continental Tire Sports Car Challenge standings in GS after six rounds. Well, we talk about the Rum Bum team ticking all of the box. They came back from adversity today with a second place run. They've extended their lead over Edwards and Bell from 11. It's now 18 points. And Nick in the Mark. ST. Halfway through the year so far, Ryan Eversley and Kyle Gimple, 15 points back by Mamara, Kerry Borscheller, Andrew Carbonella from third.